Top 10 People Who Faked Their Own Death Apparently, you don't need to have suicidal tendencies to want to die. Some people thought that death would help them have better lives. How? Here are 10 people who faked their own deaths. Number 10. Chandra Mohan Sharma How far can someone go to escape his troubles? Mohan, who was unhappy in his marriage and was having an affair with a neighborhood girl, killed a homeless man, put him into his car, and set the car on fire. His motivation was a very expensive life insurance return. Afterwards, he fled to Bangalore with his girlfriend. But just a month later, Mohan got sick of the girl and called for her family to retrieve her. Moan was eventually caught when police recognized a tattoo on his hand from CCTV footage. Number 9. A Soldier's Wife A poor retired soldier faked his wife's death because he, quote, wanted money to buy food, as he said in court after he was charged with fraud. Kenneth Zangaza went to the bank with his wife's policy documents and a letter written by the village head confirming her death to get the insurance money. At the last moment, the poor guy confessed that he'd lied. Number 8. Allison Matira Stupidity alert! A girl named Allison thought the best way to skip church was to fake dying of cancer. For a whole year, instead of telling the truth, Matira kept reporting lies about her, quote, treatment. After she got sick of that, pun intended, Matira pretended to be a nurse and reported her death to the pastor. Not stupid enough? Allison decided to attend her own funeral, pretending to be her sister, and was caught. Number 7. John Stonehouse do you have financial or marital problems? Here's a simple fix. Just run away with your mistress. On November 20th, 1974, John Stonehouse disappeared from Miami Beach, leading police to believe he either drowned or was killed by a shark. Despite his successful escape, John felt homesick a month later. He was eventually arrested on New Year's Eve. Number 6. John Darwin yeah, here's another John with financial problems. Being tens of thousands of dollars deep in debt, John faked his own death with the help of his wife. He went to the sea in his canoe and disappeared, pretending to be drawn away. The couple used the life insurance money to pay off their debt, until five years later, John returned to the police and claimed he had lost his memory. After further investigations, the truth was discovered. Number 5. Anna Gray Someone stalking you? Play dead! Anna Gray replied to an invitation to an unwanted online date with, I'm sorry to tell you we lost her, pretending to be her sister. The guy believed her, of course, until he found another profile of hers on another dating website. Number 4. Marcus Schrenker Fleeing from financial problems, Marcus sacrificed his private plan to fake his death in a plane crash. He parachuted into Alabama and stayed in a pup tent at the Quincy campground. The ground's owner suspected him, and he got arrested by the local police. Number 3. Grand Arubin Subramanium Left in debt after his business had been shut down, Subramanium faked his death and received $250,000 in insurance money. In Sri Lanka, he obtained a false death certificate and a fake passport. Using the passport, he visited Singapore several times until police arrested him. Number 2. William Growth Having a huge life insurance policy can make your family wish you were dead. A $1 million policy made William, with the help of his wife, fake his death. He disappeared, leaving his wallet and jacket by the river. That might have worked, but William wanted to take it a step further and call the police, pretending to be the murderer who took his life. But his plan backfired. William was recognized, and he had to pay a fine of $13,000. And number 1. Lord Lucan Lord Lucan intended to kill his wife, but ended up killing the nanny. 
I guess it was just too dark. He went to his friend's house, then left his car on the coast of New Haven, pretending he'd committed suicide. He has never been caught, but many have reported seeing him in South Africa or New Zealand. He was born in 1934, so I guess he'll be gone soon anyway. As usual, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button to see more awesome top 10 clips. We come out with top 10 videos just for you every week. Be sure to like this clip and leave a comment, then feel free to go ahead and check out one of our other top 10 videos you see on the screen now. Now you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and other social media platforms. Check out the links in the description.